Welcome to another video. Uh, this one is focusing on my uh, small but growing carnivorous plant collection. Uh, they're doing very well. The ones I've had longest, by, and I've bought all of these this year, uh, the ones I've had longest are um, mainly the Saracenias that you see here. Um, and some of them, especially these ones at the back, you can see, are growing very big pitchers. And these ones here, the markings, are beautiful. And more recently I've added to my collection two sun juice. This one here. Uh, which one's this? Capensis. And a slightly smaller one. Uh, just here. We'll get in. There we are, that one. Let me zoom in. There. Oops, sorry, I can't. There. So, having watched videos from people like uh, Planting Memories and Carnivorous Plant Girl, who have a lot of pinguiculas, which are also very attractive plants, I decided to buy two of my own. I bought two very attractive specimens. One was a Cyclocetia and one was a Tina, Pinguicula Tina. And I bought them and having read that they don't like to be stood in water quite so much like the other ones here, uh, I set up a gravelly beach here in the tray which means that anything that stands on this part doesn't stand in such deep water as the ones at the front. Uh, put my plants in there and within two days they looked in a terrible state. Um, posted something on Instagram I think and tagged Planting Memories and Carnivorous Plant Girl in and they both said they've got they were in too much sun. So I then moved them to my uh, currently unheated propagator, which is here, where I've got some uh, begonia cuttings and some lavender and philadelphus and uh, spider plants against my mum and, uh, and a CD, uh, sorry, a weedy echim plant at the back there, all of which I'm bringing on. I stuck them in there and I've left them alone for a couple of weeks. And lo and behold, this is what we have. So this one is the Tina um, and has really perked up. It's got quite a lot of fresh growth on it. These leaves in the middle here are new. Uh, I have pulled off a lot of the outer leaves that were looking very sorry for themselves. Uh, so it doesn't look quite as bad, but it is thriving in the shady damp conditions underneath the bench. The Cyclocita looks like a wreck but what gives me hope, right in the centre there, there's a lot of fresh growth. So although I completely destroyed, oh it's gone dark, there we are, although I completely destroyed the rosette, a beautiful green with pink edge leaves around the edge here, they are, or it is, sorry, growing back from the middle. So although I've set it back many months, I'm hoping that it will not be long before uh, it, th it, it sort of pulls around and thrives. Anyway, there we go, the carnivorous plant collection.